Solana NFTs are kind of popping off right now. We're seeing floor prices pump like crazy. We're seeing some really solid volume. Right now on Magic Eden, we are sitting at over 200,000 24 hour volume, which obviously is really solid. So even though crypto market is absolutely horrible right now, Solana NFTs aren't even doing that bad, which is really cool to see. The community is still there. People are still having fun and making money with NFTs, which is a great thing. So in today's video, we have some more NFTs to cover that I think has great potential in the future. So with that said, this is not financial advice. If you enjoyed the video, smash a like, subscribe, all that stuff. But with that said, let's just dive straight into this video. All right, so the first project that I wanted to show you guys is Sandbar. This is a really interesting project, mainly because of the founder. It just says coming soon. They have 2000 followers, but over 100 mutual followers, which is really solid. They have this trailer live on their Twitter, which you can see right here, basically an island of some sort. I know the perfect hangout spot. Anyone want to hit the sand? Bar. Those are basically all of their tweets. But one of the main reasons that I'm so bullish on this project is because of the founder. The founder is basically Soul Buckets, one of the OGs in the space, one of the biggest like Twitter influencers as well. He has, well, he definitely has more than 12,000 followers. The follower count is just a bit messed up. I think he has definitely like over 100,000 or something like that. But basically, he's one of the most well known people in the space. So it's really cool to see that he's now launching his own project. He has shared a little more information about the Sandbar project on his. Twitter. Basically, he's saying likely there will be different phases for the NFT prior to release for the first version of Sandbar. Phase one with a smaller supply plus packaging, all platform utility and alpha NFT. And phase two, which has a larger supply, which is the PFP version, plus separated by rarity categories of utility. So basically a similar approach to something like Elixir, I suppose. So that could be really interesting. If you just scroll through his Twitter, he has talked a little bit more about the project as well. But in general, the project is still pretty secretive. We don't really have a lot of public information yet, but I'm just betting on the team on this one. I love to see when like really big and really experienced players in the space go on to launch their own project because most likely they do know what they're doing. So Sandbar is a really interesting project. If you get in early enough, you might be able to sort yourself out with a whitelist bot or something like that. It would probably be worth the grind. So Sandbar is the first project in today's video that I wanted to show you guys. Next up on the list, we have Elixir because they are coming out with their new 10K PFP collection. Actually today, their main prize was just recently announced. I did not expect it to be this soon, but apparently they are minting today when this video goes live. But I just quickly wanted to showcase this one because I think it has massive potential. As you can see, they just like seven hours ago when I'm recording this video announced their mint date. So it kind of caught me off guard. Actually, I thought I had more time to make this video, but apparently not. You might be familiar with their OG collection. It has a really limited supply of only 777, currently sitting at 69 Solana, which obviously is extremely solid. But they're now coming out with their 10k PFP peak collection as this video goes live, basically. I'm sure you are familiar with Elixir. It's basically one of the first AMM marketplaces or automated market maker. Um, and obviously they have been really successful with it as well. This team is just like super talented. Here in this Twitter thread, they basically go over a little bit more about their upcoming PFP collection. NFTs reimagined, driving actual value to holders is one of our biggest goal, art community and value to empower the Elixir ecosystem. So they have the community, they have the value of all, which is the the name of this PFP collection will feed off each and every one of the projects that we release. They are also coming out with their own launch pad, which is really interesting. I am betting on that this will be one of the biggest launch pads in the ecosystem really quickly, just because of the reputation that Elixir already has. So our launch pad will be broken into two products, the Elixir launch pad, a fully vetted KYC and official launch partner launch pad, and the Elixir express pad, a fully self service launch pad for any collection to host their mint. And this launch pad has tons of different features like freeze authority, dynamic pricing, gamified minting, custom staking, mint in soul or ovo token, pool setup, art generation, creator dashboard and probably more as well. Taking a look at their PFP art, personally I really like it. This sneak peek looks crazy, they have only shown two sneak peeks, so I'm guessing that the rest of the art will also be really really cool. This is the second sneak peek, so overall I'm a huge fan of this PFP art myself honestly. And then they go on to say, since our first tweet on August 31st, we have released five Five functioning apps, the Elixir Marketplace, Brewery, Mines, Factory, and our Launchpad. We wanted to show that an NFT project doesn't have to deliver on its roadmap only post-mint. So obviously the Elixir T 
team is just super talented. Everyone in the ecosystem knows it. So when they come out with their 10K PFP collection, I definitely think it's worth paying really close attention to it. I will probably be looking to pick up a few myself or maybe do some secondary flips possibly because I don't have whitelist for their mint, unfortunately. But this is another project that I'm just comfortable betting on long term because of the really talented and experienced team. So Elixir is the second project in today's video. All right, moving on to the third and last project, if we can call it a project. Basically, OKX is coming out with their World Cup NFT collection because the World Cup is obviously starting in only like four days now when this video goes live. I'm really excited for it. I'm guessing you are as well. So OKX are launching their own kind of um, World Cup betting NFT collection. Currently, they have a price pool of $1.4 million. Basically, how this works is that you can go ahead and mint your favorite country for $10 plus gas fees. You can mint up to three different NFTs, so three different countries right here. And basically, the price pool gets split between the winning teams. So every single game, there is a $20,000 price pool and the winning country basically gets to share that price pool. So for example, Brazil has 7,330 holders. So if Brazil goes ahead and wins a game, $20,000 will get split between 7,300 people, which obviously won't be too much. Right now that's like two and a half dollars or something. But let's say you go ahead and bet on like an underdog. Let's say you bet on the Netherlands with only 800 holders. If Netherlands wins a game, $20,000 gets split between only 800 holders. And that's like well over $20 for an NFT that you minted for only $10. And for every single NFT that is minted, 10 more dollars gets added to the price pool. So right now, as you can tell, $1.4 million in the price pool, over 37,000 NFTs minted, over 16,000 holders. So this is like a massive just tournament kind of thing. And as you can tell, you do still have like a few more days to mint before the World Cup kicks off, of course. And just full transparency, this is a collection lab with OKX, but I really thought this was a cool thing to showcase. So basically each match has a fixed $20,000 price pool. Before a match, OKX will snapshot the list of NFT owners for the competing for the competing teams the moment a match starts. After the match ends, NFT owners who have backed the winning team will share the price pool. If a match ends in a draw, NFT holders on each side will share a price pool of $10,000. And you can also track all the games, see the different schedules. As you can see, all these games have $20,000 dollars price pools so i think this is a really cool initiative by okx you can also see like all the details of the world cup right here i will put the okx link to basically do this down below in the description if you're interested definitely check that out the minting time is basically between november 5th and december 3rd so you do still have almost two more weeks to go ahead and mint your nfts but obviously you will probably get most benefits if you go ahead and mint before the world cup starts which is in like four or five days so there you go this this is a really cool initiative and really cool like NFT tournament kind of thing done by OKX. I will definitely participate myself. So as I said, if you want to check it out, it will be one of the first links down below in the description. And there you go. That was basically what I had for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, remember to smash a like and subscribe down below as always. I do think these are some really interesting times for NFTs just because NFTs are actually not doing that bad considering everything going on right now. Like DGods and Utes and stuff are pumping like crazy getting crazy volume as well, which we love to see. So honestly, I'm pretty bullish. I'm having fun in the market right now, which it's honestly been a while since I lost had. So personally, I thought we would have it a lot worse than we do right now, but it's great to see that the community is so strong on Solana. Solana isn't going anywhere. I hope you know that. But anyways, that's the video. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Peace.